RDI, welcome back to another episode. As you guys can see, we're back where we did this job not too long ago. Unfortunately, something went wrong with this installation or the decal itself, and we came back to replace it. And if you guys want to find out what happened and how we fixed this, make sure you watch the video until the end. Also, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, and get your materials through the links in the description of the video. All right, let's get started. So I guess we're back at the uh, semi-truck parking lot and the reason we came is because of this look at this uh, decal how it's coming off i know it's not the best thing that can happen to us but i guess it's just part of the job and that's the reason we're going to make this video so you guys get an idea of what we do in this situation and Luis is going to start by peeling it off and after that we're going to apply some of that rapid tack not rapid tack goof off to remove the adhesive that's left from the old sticker the logo is coming off easily uh, Luis is not having a hard time removing it. We brought everything just in case, even the heat gun, and we'll just replace whatever is coming off. If let me get up close so you guys get an idea. And we came to check it out before we actually cut the vinyl. Uh, we came by yesterday and we were able to do it the next day. Unfortunately, things like this will happen, but as I mentioned, it's just part of the job. And here we have our decals that need to be applied or replaced. The passenger side is the main one, the one that uh, looks in the worst shape and yeah, a few numbers. So we have removed the whole thing, like the top part or the top section, and he's removing this little letter here. We made sure that is the right one. And uh, this is what uh, we're going to replace it with, obviously the same size and everything. And if you guys see this little shape here and the one on the other side, basically we're going to combine them like kind of like a puzzle. And that's why it was very important when you were a kid that you learn how to use those puzzles. And this is this really becomes handy. Uh, it's when, like playing Tetris. You got to match. There you go. Yeah, that's a better way like to put this. it. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, you know, playing video games after all is not too bad if you don't overdo <laughs> it. <laughs> the next step will be to apply some of that uh, goof off and we'll show you the uh, the brand and everything in a few minutes uh, let's turn it this way this is the one and you can get it through the links and the reason we're not covering the uh, where the old logo was because we do not want to apply any of that on top of the letters that uh, we didn't have to replace uh, i don't think anything will happen i think they will be fine if we apply some of that on top of them but just to be sure we just want to avoid that and this is like probably the best way to get rid of the adhesive if you want something that works fine this is the perfect one to use the goof off and after that we're going to apply some of the rapid tack to get rid of whatever's left and the weather right now is way way much better than it was when we did the installation that's one of the things that uh, we had to do we had to wait a little bit for the weather to go uh, the temperature to go up I want to make a quick stop before we keep on going and if you guys been doing this for some time you already have an idea of the challenges that you can face when doing this type of jobs and not just this but like any kind of business will come with their own challenges and if you are about to start your own decal business I mean the reason we're making these videos is to give you an idea what you can um, expect uh, or things that can happen to you but I mean it can be fixed like right now the customer is uh, he's okay um, I mean it's just a little extra for us of work but you know it's, and like I said it's just part of the job but uh, as long as it can be fixed everything will be okay go ahead Luis he's oh, gonna apply oh, yes oh, I'm sorry <laughs> I was distracted <laughs> for something but, yeah there's uh, a spicy it's... senorita coming behind oh uh, yeah walking oh, behind man. us I wish you could see that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, it's time to add the rapid tag and make sure there's no goof off left just in case because then we'll be coming back again once more. So we want to be sure to clean the surface right. And uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but I'm using a different towel too. So just to be sure. All right, after this, then we can start applying this side, uh, the decal on this side. In. Hopefully it'll be fast and easy. Now it's time to have fun. I'm gonna take my glasses just in case. I wanna see it right. I mean, this is not the only way to do this. You can find any method that works for you. This one works for us. And basically the idea that they have to match and then see, we avoid having to measure and spending more time than we should. 
the next step will be to do what we usually do you have an idea of what that is and now we can start getting rid of the backing paper the bottom part of it we could even remove the alignments right now but uh, I think we're gonna wait we're gonna do it later I'm going to cut it from here let me see the later okay all right now I'm going to lock it from the center and then to the sides Perfect, now we can probably um, get rid of the alignments that we used. We can probably just cut them with some scissors. That way we do not have to remove them afterwards. All right, now it's time to remove the transfer. Last time we did it, the transfer was peeling off the letters and right now they're staying on the surface. So this is a good sign. It's the weather, Hopefully. it has to be at least, right now it's like 75, so make sure it's hot enough. Yep. I will probably make a video of explaining how we use the little um, puzzle thing is the uh, how to align without having to measure it and I like the way it looks today it, it looks way better than last time last time we got a few bubbles right except that we got shocked yeah I got uh, <laughs> I was suspecting that I thought it was fake metal I guess no. not <laughs> that should wake you up <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time to move to this section here, the back side, and they, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna remove the letters like this, the eight, six, not the letters, the numbers, the ones that need to be removed, and we're gonna do the same method that we did. All right, so we're gonna repeat the same steps. Hold on, uh, let me see some scissors. Almost cut the tail. Okay, now I'm gonna do the top part of the, de the decal. All right, now we're gonna remove the transfer and we'll do it carefully. Now we're going to do the other side and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, for this section, we only replaced the semi truck, nothing else. And we got to finish this side here. And uh, it's only like two or three different layers. After this, we'll be done. We'll be ready to go back home and work on another project because we have a busy day today. So what did we learn from this? When working with specialty films, make sure the temperature is at least 70 degrees, like today is around 74 degrees. At the time of the first installation, the temperature was in the 50s. Also make sure to charge additionally when working with this type of vinyls. Now it's time to start working on the next project and this will be a very easy project. We are using our machine, the Graftec CE 6060, which is a 24 inch vinyl cutter and the type of vinyl we are using today will be the Oracle 651 type of transfer, the uh, R-Tape Clear Choice AT 75.1. Our decal will measure about 
22 inches wide by 32.1 tall and that includes both sides one color now it's time to start weeding out and you're about to see the weeding boxes in action if you're not familiar with this process or what we mean by winning boxes, I'm going to leave a link to a video where you will get a better idea. But what we can say about them, the, uh, the main idea about adding winning boxes is to make it easier, especially if you work by yourself. If you don't have a big Mexican family like we do, <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I think this junk has been overused. I think I'm going to stop using it. Yeah, he needs uh, new, <laughs> new material. Yeah, I need to start watching Seinfeld. <laughs> and I'm not sure they're going to allow that on YouTube copyrights. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going to get to this section, which is right here. The, uh, and this is all the material that we are going to use for this. I mean, <clears throat> besides the transfer. And of course, we have to include the rapid tack and all that stuff. Now I'm going to start weeding out from the inside. I'm going to be careful. Perfect. And I'm going to show you a, a preview of the logo, original logo. This is what the original looked like. And they asked me to just change it a little bit, add a little bit. Um, honestly, I went to Google and I looked for ideas for this type of business. And most of the logos that I came across, they had something like that. So I decided to go ahead and um, add that in, in their design. And I think uh, it looks good. He was happy with the design. Uh, he approved it right away. Yep, and after this, we're going to apply our transfer, which is the Art Tape Clear Choice AT75.1. This is a good workout. And the less or the thinner the roll gets, the harder it is to unroll it. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, Apparently, it takes two guys to yeah. do all that. All right, and I think we got it there. Now I'm going to start from the center. I'm gonna to go to the sides like this. Hopefully we won't get many wrinkles. Like I'm talking about the transfer, not us, because I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of wrinkles when we get older. <laughs> I think I can already see a few. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the place where we're gonna do the installation. And the first thing we gotta do, we haven't cleaned the surface. But if you guys can see here, there's a little bit of residue from the old decals. And what Nacho is going to do is going to clean it with goof off. He's going to spray some of that and uh, try to remove as much as he can. After this, we'll apply some of that rapid tack to get rid of whatever's left. And yeah, this is the decal that we're going to apply on this side. And remember that the only thing that's going to stay on the surface will be the blue part, which is the vinyl everything else should come off and this is one of the questions that we get a lot uh, about the background because you can see the whole square or rectangle and sometimes uh, people think that what's going to stay is like the whole thing but i mean you i'm pretty sure you get an idea of what i mean and clean it really nicely and we're going to use several tools we're going to use the cutting knife as well as the magnets if you can see here we're not using any tape for uh, to hold the sticker all we're using just a the magnets i forgot i got a brain fart having a little issue here with the transfer not too bad okay now i'm going to start from the center i'm going to cut the backing paper and the reason we use the cutting knife is to avoid any residue from the backing paper we're going to do a dry application and i'm going to start from the center as i mentioned it i'm going to lock it from here from side to side and then one side lock it, then I'm going to switch. I'm gonna to go to the sides and I'm going to go a little fast. Not too fast, but like that. And the reason we do it like this is because we avoid bubbles this way. Now we can do the top part and that easy. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go side to side. Oops, this is getting in the way. My bad. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna be careful, uh, really careful removing the transfer because the paint is, I mean, it's not probably damaged, but 
we'll just be careful. Now let's get up close and show you why or how we didn't get any bubbles. Hopefully the cell phone or the camera can capture all the details. We're done. Yeah, this is it. Let's Final result. Let's get close. And let me give you a shot on the other side. Yeah, there's the crew. Now let's check out the other side. Perfect. Looks perfect. As always, thank you for your support. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified next time we upload another video. Thank you so much. See you until the next one.